Hi everyone, I just wanted to show you how I make uh, this really low carb and tasty peanut butter um, stir fry, peanut butter and soy sauce and chicken stir fry and it's really really delicious and spicy and all you'll need for it is some black peppers, black peppercorns and some sea salt and what I've done with that is grind it up and I've sprinkled it over two chicken breasts which I've diced and they've just been sitting in that salt and pepper for a little while and this is for two people I'm doing this one, myself and my wife I've got a handful of mushrooms chopped into chunks about half of a red pepper, a bell pepper uh, cut into slices and here I have um, a small shallot chopped up, very small uh, into you know small cubes and um, about a sixth of a red onion chopped up uh, into sort of small slices um, because on a low carb diet you can't really have onions and here I have uh, about an inch of ginger which I've peeled and we have here some two cloves of garlic chopped up that small the same size as the shallots and here we have some spring onions, two spring onions chopped up I think they're called scallions in other parts of the world so two of those and I've got just a few fresh broccoli florets that I've chopped up uh, into small pieces there's two spoonfuls this size spoon of crunchy peanut butter but you can use smooth I have some dried chilies I'm going to use about four or five of those but you can use chili powder uh, chili flakes uh, some parsley you don't need to have that if you don't want it and some dark soy sauce so the first thing I'm going to do uh, before I start cooking is to prepare my sauce uh, you can do this at a later, later stage but I'm going to do it now so I've got two tablespoons or dessert spoons of peanut butter in my bowl and to that I'm going to add about three of the same size spoons of soy sauce it's a bit more there but I like it so I've got that much soy sauce in a fair bit and then what I'm going to do is take my piece of ginger because I don't have um, a, a pro the proper equipment to that, um, grinds ginger and um, garlic so I do mine in my pestle and mortar like this going to grind my ginger up. It doesn't have to be very small. Just start getting some of the juice out. So it's just about like that. I don't bother taking it any smaller. We'll put that in. So that's peanut butter, soy sauce and ground uh, pasted ginger okay and then in my other one of these which is dry I'm going to add um, a few of these dried chilies now I love spicy food I have a curry I make a curry with 45 chilies in but for some reason this particular recipe you only need a few chilies to make it almost too hot I think it's the how the chilies combine with the ginger I'm not sure but it's a lot lot hotter than you'll, you'll expect it's going to be so if you don't like spicy food I would advise not to put many chilies in all and I'm just going to crush those up if you've got chili flakes you can just put them straight in crush those up a bit and then pop those in I had about six or seven bird's eye ones in there and we'll just give that a little, little bit of a blend together. Then we're going to need to take some hot water from a freshly boiled kettle. And you don't need a lot. Add about that much to begin with. And stir it all together. get it to a sort of nice runny consistency so this is just the sauce that you'll pour in 
when all the ingredients are cooked. And of course the bits in there are nuts because I've got crunchy peanut butter. So there we are, so it's, it's nice and runny like that. Doesn't look very appetizing, but believe you me, when it's all fried up with the ingredients, it's beautiful. Okay, so I'll put that aside and I'll show you how to begin cooking it. Okay, so I've got a wok. Um, it's an old one, but I love it. Um, you can use a frying pan or whatever you like. And to that, I've already oiled my uh, wok a little bit, just to um, stop it sticking. I'm going to add about that much olive oil. And I'm going to heat that for a couple of minutes and then I'll get back to you. Okay, so my oil's at a nice temperature and what I'm going to do is add the garlic, just the garlic and the chicken to this stage. So that's my garlic. Now I'm going to add to that all my chicken. And all you need to do at this stage is stir this around and keep stirring it for a few minutes until the chicken starts turning brown. You want it to start browning. So I'll let that happen and I'll uh, come back to you. Okay, so I've been stirring this continually like this for, I don't know, four or five minutes. And the uh, chicken is just beginning to brown in places. So that's fine. So what I'm going to do now is add the mushrooms, the red peppers, the bell pepper, and the um, shallots and red onion. We save them at the uh, broccoli and the spring onions or scallions for later. And then all you do is just keep stirring it again for another further five to six minutes or so. So I'll get back to you in a few minutes. Okay, so that's had about five minutes and I'm now going to add the broccoli. And that's just uncooked fresh broccoli. And I'm going to continue uh, stirring it just until the broccoli starts to soften. Now, myself and my wife like the broccoli a bit um, crispy, a bit firm. We don't like it overcooked. So, but you can carry on cooking yours for as long as you like. And what I have done before with this recipe is I've used frozen broccoli and I put it in at the same time as I put the mushrooms and the bell peppers in. But you have to be aware, you get lots of water which you'll have to keep pouring out of the, um, the pan. So I, I, I use fresh as uh, often as I can now. So we just keep doing that for, uh, I don't know, it's probably going to take me another four or five minutes until it starts softening enough and I'll get back to you at that stage. Okay so that broccoli is done to about the consistency I want it. It's probably been in there for five or six minutes. And you know you can keep it in for 15 if you want. As long as you keep stirring it. So now I'm going to add the sauce we made which was the uh, garlic, uh, sorry the ginger the chilli, the peanut butter and the soy sauce. So I'm just going to add that all over. And I really wish that they had invented smelly vision so that you could smell this through your computer because at this stage it smells delicious. All the ginger frying away and the chilies smells lovely. And then we're just going to keep stirring that for a further two to three minutes or so. Just to heat it up a bit and run it through. And I haven't got my heat on too high, it's a sort of moderate mid heat. Just going to keep moving it around. I'll just carry on doing that for a couple more minutes. Okay, that's been uh, gently frying away for a couple of minutes. And now what we're going to do is just add the uh, spring onions or the scallions, whatever they're called. 
just add those in and just run them through. You're not going to cook these really. Run them through like that, mix them in. And then I normally use fresh parsley for this, but I don't have any, so I'm going to use some just some dried parsley, just a sprinkling, like so, and just run that through. and simple and then we're done we just um, pop it into your dish or onto your plate and my wife and I have, normally have spinach with this and um, you know it's just a nice simple tasty stir fry low carb high protein delicious well I hope this helps somebody and any questions just comment below um, and I'll make another video very soon. Thank you. Bye now.